Hey guys, it's Kim again with more Never Ending Nightmares. So I wanted to go back and take a look at the alternate endings um, because it was bothering me and I think I got kind of like the nicest ending so I wanted to see what some of the more messed up endings would be like. Um, so one of the ways to unlock it is basically from the path that I got um, which was, uh, I think it was called Wayward Dreamer Path. <laughs> So you need to get back to this, and I was right, it is something to do with these paths that you go down. So we need to f go down the paths that Gabby isn't going down, so we need to stay away from her. So starting with up, if we do this right, then we'll end up with an adult Gabby at that gazebo, rather than um, the child Abby which we saw before, and it should trigger uh, a different ending called Destroyed Dreams. So there we go, an adult Gabby. So the path for, to get this one is up, down, up, down, and up. And let's see what Destroy Dreams gives us. Oh! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh! Um. Okay. That was rather horrible. Not quite what I was expecting. Ooh! Ooh, I don't like this. Don't know if I like this. So we're back in the wards and it's all full of dead bodies. Great. Just what the doctor ordered. Um. Hello? Is this gonna be like another labyrinth? It looks like it is. Ooh, that guy sat upright. Let's just go back out then, shall we? Ward B. So we're in a slightly posher ward than last time. I hope we don't have those straitjacket chaps here again. Oh look, there's a hole in the floor. Um, yeah, that seems like a good idea. So we see how long this descent into madness goes. Would see. Exam room two. Interesting how Thomas is still an asthmatic in adult life. Don't really know what's better. Childhood home riddled with tiny dolls that want to rip your guts out. Or back in a mental asylum. Oh look, we're in war day again. Is this going to be some kind of door puzzle? I feel like it is. Ward B, except it is different. I wonder what lovely monsters we're going to encounter here. It's interesting how the paintings here are rather tame compared to our own home where we've got horrible paintings of like men with bags over their heads and people being hung. Okay, okay, no, don't like that, don't like that. Get through the door, thank you, goodbye. No, you can stay there. You can stay there. So that's gonna be the monster of this time then. Being chased by versions of ourself with an ax. Jesus wept, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We go down the hole. There's probably only good things down there. I say good things. It's making everything get a lot more messed up. That ship looked like it was moving. Yep, I hear you, sis. I hear you. So here we go. We're back to that template of things being simple. Go, go. Go, run, run, don't stop running, don't stop running, get the door, get the door, oh no, come on, I had that, I totally had that. Fine, that's the way you're going to play it. I don't like psycho version of myself. Right, I'm not going to run just yet. Here he comes, I can hear him, I can hear him. Okay, run. 
Run, Thomas. Run. Run. Hit the door. Hit the door. All right. We're all right. We can do this. We can do this. So this chapter is called Destroyed Dreams. Oh, great. We're going into an operating theatre. This will be fine, right? Don't sit up. Don't sit up. Don't sit up. Good. Good corpse. Oh, there's a morgue back there as well. Um, I'm just going to keep going right on the basis that going one way would be great. Nope. Not great. Get out. Get out. See, I think I'd still put the creepy dolls up there as... Uh, not my favourite bad guy in this. Psychotic versions of myself chasing myself with an axe. Yeah, they, they come in second. Then the baby monsters. Then the asylum straitjacket dudes. Ward B. Let's see what's in here. Ah. Another way down. I'm assuming that keep going down is the way to do this. Getting a bit crowded in my room. Hello? Don't want to run too much in case he runs out of stamina. It's getting kind of claustrophobic, if I'm honest. Oh, there's a morgue through there. There's a morgue through here. Can I...? Yeah, no. Yeah, isn't that great? Isn't that great? Morgues are always such friendly places. I guess we'll go through this one. Hello? What friendly things will we find in here? A body? That's alright, you kind of expect to find a body in a morgue. All the places you'd want to see a body. A morgue would be one. That's changed, hasn't it? That corridor has changed. Okay, this is going to drive me insane. I can't map this place out because it is changing. Or D. Which side is he coming from? There we go. There he is. Don't like the gurgling sound he's making. Get through the door. Um, let's try this one. Exam room. Makes a rather empty, hollow, gurgling noise, doesn't he? Don't like that. Kind of looks like the Joker. Or Topsy. There's one of those tables from them CSIs. That my mum watches far too much of. God, you are everywhere, aren't you? You just, you have that mystical property that serial killers have. In that they're everywhere, without seemingly moving. Okay, so we're in the bit that you go to after the morgue, the crematorium. That's alright, we're still okay. Some of these dead bodies remain dead. Is that a hole? Yeah. Get in the hole. Ooh! Well, this is gonna be nasty. I can guarantee that already. I can feel it. Feel it in my bones. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your bloody smile. You wanna ask me? To death. Oh, there's rubble over there. 
Really hope my friend isn't around. I just came from here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Really, really hope my smiley friend isn't around here. Not sure my nerves could take it with just a candle for light. Um, let's go in here. Ward C, that seems good. I'd like to wake up. I really would like to wake up. That would be great. That's always the thing from having nightmares, isn't it? You're screaming at yourself in a nightmare. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. But you can't wake up. And that's pretty much all you want to do. I haven't been through this door. Oh good, we're in an autopsy room. Stay dead. Stay dead. Stay dead. Please stay dead. Thank you for staying dead. you don't want to hear. Well, this isn't good. Um, is it going to change when we come out? It doesn't appear so. Autopsy room is still an autopsy room. Is this corridor going to change? Still in Ward C. Back to Ward B. Was there a room back here? Yeah, I don't think I checked this one. Get out! Yep. Get out. Get away from the bad man. So if he's in there, there's nothing in there. Been there. Oh, there's a door down here. Hello? Anybody? Which whoa is coming from that way? Damn. That was a bad life decision. I knew he was coming as well. Just which direction? Ward C. Right, it's okay. I sort of like how they've integrated the save point into the uh, growing insanity. Here he comes. Let's go. Let's run. Keep running. Get through. There he is. I can see him. Goodbye. Okay, can't go that way. You stay over there. I wonder if they can break through. I really hope not. Hello. Oh, oh, here we go. Hey, don't break any. Wake up. Thomas, please wake up. Oh, God, please. Thomas, you're awake. Whew. So there you go, that is the Destroyed Dreams ending. Make of that what you will. Uh, which means there is one more called The Final Descent, and I, from what I've been told, this is not a nice one. So, here we go. Now, instead of going down uh, and jumping down the hole, we go back into the asylum. So let's see what happens. 